Hi guys, welcome to this new video and here you will see plenty of Rodia notebooks. In this video you will see plenty of Rodia Ramasoft cover notebooks and you will see all the different sizes and all the different colors. So as you see I've got plenty of things to show you, it's going to take a little time, maybe I'll cut this into two parts, maybe not, I don't know. So uh, maybe we'll start with um, what I think about them. Um, I really love uh, the Rodeo notebooks. I bought, I brought with me uh, three that I, I'm currently using, and these are hot covers. And this one is inside my Bumblebee uh, from the Leverquill shop, and that's the uh, hot cover in the colored chocolates. And also I have the Rodeo Roma web notebooks, but these are all hot covers. And the issue I had with them is the fact that inside that kind of thing, um, hard covers do not fit as well as soft covers. So when I realized that they were soft covers, it was real, a real kind of excitement. Because the hard cover is a standalone. Uh, but these small covers, they can be used as standalones because the cover is absolutely gorgeous, but uh, they will fare pretty well inside a leather cover. All right, so I suggest we start with the sizes first and then move on to um, move on to the um, different colors and accessories and, and all this and then we'll go on to the uh, paper. Right, so I kept the little papers, they come inside, inside just to get the uh, measurements in inches so it's helpful to you as in the US as well. Okay, so uh, the first size is the mini notebooks. The mini notebooks comes in, come in pairs and as you can see, I have paired them um, here and here. And so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different pairs. <clears throat> and if you're wondering if the cover is the same kind of cover as your more, more familiar hot cover, well, it is. But it performs even better on the soft cover than on the hard covers. Well, it's my opinion. Okay, these ones are seven by 10.5 centimeters and that's 2.7 by 4 inches. They uh, offer 32 sheets of paper which is 64 pages and the paper is an ivory vellum paper, ivory brushed vellum they say, which is 90 grams per meter square. Okay, so let me explain that story of um, gram per meter square. Um, the idea is that if you have one meter square of this paper is going to weigh 90 gram and it gives you a paper that has a comfortable thickness yet is not too thick and that vellum which is made by Clairefontaine which is in France as well as Rodia um, is a really beautiful paper which is well known among a fountain pen lovers for a reason but we'll come back to this later so that those are the mini notebooks um, I have found the um, fake leather uh, or simile leather uh, covers to be very soft and pliable and they are really pleasant to the touch, it's like there you've got the plush feeling that you get with leather. You know when you can push and you feel and you can push inside of it. Well you do find that in this one. For example, uh, Moleskine um, has notebooks made of that same type of leather but this one is a lot smoother. The texture is printed, but it's very smooth when you touch it. Doesn't feel like paper at all. It really does feel like a nice leather. <clears throat> so it may not be real leather, but I can tell you the feeling is pretty nice. The orange is inside all of them because it's the traditional color by Rhodia. So it's a reminder. It's like a red line, something. I, I don't know. Yeah. And it's a lined notebook with black, grey, dark grey lines. Okay. And it is uh, both stitched and glued. The back is glued, but you can feel when you put your fingers uh, the stitchings. Right, so it's a stitched notebook. Here you can see it's stitched. Right, very nice little thing that you can put in your pocket, and we'll go back to the colors later. I will keep going on with the sizes. Okay, <clears throat> so this one I left all the papers on it, but I'm going to take it out. 
um, to show you the uh, bright color. Which color is this one? Is it the orange? No, that's the jonquille. That's the jonquille color. Uh, you would say daffodil. It's a daffodil yellow. All right. So this one is the second size. It's 10 10.5 by 14.8 centimeters and for those who live in America that's 4 inches by 5.5 inches. Right, and you get 144 pages all lined. Okay, you've got different uh, versions but there's some come in their collections come in line, dots, uh, um, blank and other things but sometimes you just have one choice in their collection. Okay. Uh, of usual, it's this exactly the same paper, uh, but you've got a pocket at the end as well, which reminds you of larger notebooks. Right, once broken in, it does stay flat, perfectly flat. Right, and all the space is used on this page because it starts from here at the top and ends at the bottom and the lines occupy almost all the place. Right, you've got an orange page mark, little ribbon, and you've got the orange reminder. And I think that orange goes very well with the um, jonquille or daffodil color. You've got the Rhodia logo, which is embossed, which is so nice. Right. I explained that one in one of my videos. And the only issue there would be that the cover is so soft that you can see uh, the elastic dented in uh, here and there. Well, I don't mind this because you can put your elastic back on it right there and it won't matter too much but some of you might be concerned about this but it's because the cover is so soft. Right, so that was the second size. Right, now in the A5 size uh, you get two different notebooks. The first one is a cahier, which is where I tested for the inks. That is one <clears throat> I fell in love with. It's really beautiful. Always the same uh, feel of fake leather, but that feels so good. And the color here is brilliant. Which color is this? It's the turquoise. Turquoise blue, of course. And you've got the orange stitched line here. So it's hand stitched with a machine in France, if I remember well, or maybe somewhere else. And I put a bit of ink on it. Well, that kind of notebook would fit perfectly in that kind of color. If you want to have three, four, five of these notebooks inside, and they would go perfectly with that color, as you can see. And so it's soft, it's pliable. When you open it, it stays perfectly flat. Let's try another one. All right, so you've got to push a bit on that. And here you've got the uh, center. So uh, this one, I've lost the details on this one. I think it must be 64, 64 pages like the little one. <clears throat> Probably the same as the little one. The paper again, as written here, is a vellum brushed vellum 90 gram per meter square made in France by Claire Fontaine and as usual the lines are um, dark grey lines on a soft ivory colour so meaning for example then that if you're using uh, fountain pens with special collection inks the inks will turn a bit in terms of colour because the eye it's not white underneath it's lit, um, ivory but we come back to this one because I made all my writing tests in it no need to do it in all of them since it's always the same paper okay now a larger version is this one as the glued spine notebook in the dot grid version which will be nice to those of you who bullet journal and it's again in the turquoise color but with the elastic so this one is 14.8 centimeters by 21 and it's 5.8 inches by 8.3 inches. It's got 160 pages dotted, dot pages. Right, so let's have a look inside. So again, this is soft. So if you like to use uh, hardcover by Rodias in your leather covers, this one would be absolutely perfect and a lot better than the hardcover, I think. 
the orange reminder and the orange ribbon and then here are your dots so again 19 gram per meter square of brushed vellum very nice with dots for those of you who like bullet journaling like in the Leuchtturm it's the answer to that kind of model always stay flat which is good and at the end you've got a pocket right and that size is just perfect for A5 lovers and I am an A5 lover so I basically love that right another size now because you, you, now we reach the two bigger sizes uh, ones that could be used um, for work or as a student to take notes during class that would be perfect so this one is a glute spine notebook again dot grade and a soft cover um, the color is iris iris beautiful and the logo does come out very nicely on this one it comes out as a prune or violet very nice looking. Alright, so what is the size? This is a 19 by 25 centimeter with 160 pages with dots and it's a 7.5 by 9.7 inches. Alright, so again, um, the cover uh, gets um, a little less soft as you move on to bigger bigger sizes. As you can see, it was really very soft on the little ones. It was kind of soft on the other ones. And as you get to the bigger sizes, I think they needed probably to make them a little harder. So it's a soft cover, but it's a bit, a bit stronger than the others. So inside you get the orange ribbon, the orange reminder that it's a rodeo notebook, and then inside the grids. Right. And this one doesn't have detachable pages. Let me check that to be sure. No, it doesn't. So, as in the line notebooks, all the place is covered with the dots. There's absolutely no blank space on their pages. And then you've got the pocket at the end, which seems to be like a strong kind of pocket. Might resist time, so it would be perfect for a student or someone who is working. So maybe the color is quite girly on this one. <laughs> I found the orange um, elastic goes very well with all the colors, but it does come very nicely in a few colors like the turquoise, like the green one. Mm. So that's another size. A uh, bit too big for me, I would be using this typically for work. And now comes the extreme size, right? That's a glued spine notebook again, lined with frame at the top soft cover. So this one is clearly designed for work. The color is poppy. Now poppy, coquelicot in French. And that's a very nice color. The orange uh, ribbon and elastic absolutely uh, come out nicely on this one. And that's again, as you can see, a soft cover as well. But the presentation will be a bit different. Okay. So this one is a 22.5 by 29 by 7. This is what we call a 21, 29 set. Almost, it's a bit bigger, so it's an A4 plus. It's a bit bigger than your A4 size. It's 160 pages that you can take out. And it's got a special presentation. So here again, it's 8.6 inches by 11.7 inches. And as you can see, it's a little bit more than the A4. So it's lined with frame at the top. It's got a ribbon bookmark, expandable inner pocket always the same um, paper the uh, vellum 90 gram per meter square uh, paper which is made at Etival Clairefontaine in France and it, but it says here that it's a French creation that's handmade in uh, French design handmade in Morocco as are a few of their products I've seen All right so let's have a look so soft cover which is again a little bit stronger but not as strong as this one a little bit more pliable. Again, the elastic leaves a dent. Right. Oh, that one has been controlled. The orange reminder and the orange ribbon. Okay, so here is the difference. There's a huge difference which shows that this one is designed towards work or students. Um, all the pages are micro perforated and you can take them out. So I will show you on this one. So here you see. And of course, as most of their 
um, paper, um, papers and pads. These come out very nicely. However, you take them even from pulling from the other side, it comes out very nicely. So it's micro perforations. And so it's the same vellum as before, but the lines uh, are larger. You've got more space in between the lines. They are a little bit stronger, especially on the sides. And then you can put a title at the top. Right. So it's a bit different, and you can actually take all your pages out, which to me screams student. I would have loved to have this as a student, really. It's, it's such beautiful paper. It performs very well, which we'll come back to. So these are the different sizes. Also in that collection, uh, you do get accessories, like this Rhodia. A pencil case and you will always get the orange reminder that it's a Rhodia and the little embossed logo which is so beautiful. I love the two the two trees of the Rhodia logo and I love logos basically so that's nice and inside of this one so it's doubled with fabric and it's a nice little pencil case when you're on the move. Now they also have the fountain pen holder our, what I would call a, pe um, a, pencil, a desk pencil case, right? Which again is in a two-tone reminding. Uh, one is the color from the Rhodia Rama, and the other one is the Rhodia color. And it's very nice, and it's exactly the same feel as the notebooks. It's like similar leather, and it's so nice, right? So inside is cardboard, and then it's really nice and nice looking, and you've got the logo again which is embossed in the Rhodiorama color. And you've got the pencil case holder, which where I put all the pencils that I used for this test, from my Pilot Prera, Stabilo Pens, Sharpie, and my, all my Enjoys, and this one, which is a Palomino uh, Blackwing 59, uh, 56, sorry, that's been offered to me uh, by Margot in the US, thanks again. And this one, again, goes with the uh, uh, desk pencil case, premier, I have no idea how you would call that in English. And it's exactly the same. And it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. It doesn't look like cardboard or anything. It does look really, really nice. Okay, now let's move on to the different colors that you can get in this collection. Right. So, let's start with these two. They come together, these two babies. And they are the chocolate and uh, taupe. Chocolate and taupe. That's a chocolate. One I already have. This is the same color normally as that one. Yeah. And this is the taupe. I have a taupe, but I couldn't find it. Okay. Um, in this collection too, and I must say. This one, which is the silver one, is a bit stronger, not as soft as the others. So you might be concerned about this. If you're looking for the very soft one, then do not go for the silver. So silver and black. Okay. Now, in the bright, fiery colors, you've got the jonquille and the tangerine, if I remember well. Yeah. No, that's the orange. That's, not, that's the orange and that's the jonquille, the daffodil. Okay. Very nice colors, too. And here is the tangerine and the raspberry. No, is it? No, it's not the raspberry. Wait, um, that's the poppy. Yeah, that's the poppy one. So that's the tangerine and the poppy. It's not easy to uh, differentiate sometimes. All right. So these two are the beige and the anise green. Beige and anise green. Very nice colors. I like that one very much. Right, in the blues, then you've got the turquoise and the sapphire. Yeah, I like that blue as well. It's kind of nice, this one, this blue. And I've got another notebook to show you in that color, but in another collection. Right, very nice looking, these two. Right, here we have the uh, lilac and raspberry. So that would be the lilac and that would be the raspberry. Very nice color as well, this raspberry. I love it. And finally, we've got the violet and the iris. 
And I must say, I like those, these two colors very much as well. They are very nice, kind of girly colors, pretty nice. I suppose you could say that most of these colors are a little girly, but plenty of choice, 16 colors that would allow for men to find what they would like, like that is kind of manly, the black and the silver as well, the red ones as well, the blue ones as well, there's no issue with that. And these tiny notebooks, I'm not into tiny sizes, but these ones, they offer kind of a nice space to write down stuff and they just fit in your front pocket even. Right, what do we have left? There's just one thing and that we have to do, yes, in this one, and it is the review of the paper. So I did this in the cahier, which is my preference. I just love this cahier in a turquoise color. I suppose that it would be beautiful in all of these colors. I'm going to buy a few more of these to um, get in my leather covers. They would fit perfectly. Oh, look at this. Inside the bumblebee, they would be perfect. So, I did my writing test on this one, as you saw before. I started, let me show you, I started with the Giardin Poussière de Lune, and as you can see, it does the ivory color does change uh, the color of the Poussière de Lune a little. Right. So it's a 64 pages, this one. Uh, you pay 10 euros 45 on Amazon, so it's not very expensive. All right. Here I tested with a Papermate Enjoy Quattro. Of course, I wasn't looking for feathering and I wasn't looking for a uh, show through, I was looking for buttery feeling. The, um, a friend of mine, we we're talking about that collection with a friend, and she said, Well, I find that it's nice to write in Rodeo notebooks with a ballpoint pen. And I said, Well, there's a kind of rule. If the paper is good for fountain pens, it usually is buttery smooth for. Um, for regular ballpoint pens. So it's a lot nicer to write with ballpoint pens on this kind of paper than on any other. If it does well with fountain pens, it will be a pleasure to, uh, to write with uh, other things. So indeed, that, was, that vellum is so soft that it gives you a buttery smooth writing with others. Also, I wanted to try the Papermate Replay, which I'm sometimes used, and to see if it would carry the ink very well. For example, I used this one in a Traveler's Notebook uh, insert, which is the number 13, with the famous Tomo River paper, and it's not doing performing very well on that paper. It does per perform very well on this one, because you can see the ink is uniform, which is nice. So let me try to erase a little bit of that, see if it erases well. Yep, it's kind of nice. Yeah, doesn't leave much of a trace. Right then, Papermate Enjoy RT Black and Blue performs well. The Sharpie, there is no feathering, doesn't drink the ink, the Stabilo uh, highliner. Then I tried a the Palomino Blackwing 56. And it was smooth, and I was kind of surprised, because I was wondering if it's so good with fountain pens, but it might not be so good with with a um, regular pencils. But it is kind of smooth for writing. I suppose it wouldn't have enough grain for drawing, but I actually have a friend who told me she used um, Rhodia uh, pads for drawing, so I suppose it is possible. Then I tried um, those little coloring pencils, the Stabilo Cappies, in uh, different colors, red, green, black, and pink, and it performs perfectly. But let's go back to the fountain pens for those of you who are fountain pens users. There is absolutely no feathering, absolutely nothing wrong. It's battery smooth to write on this, and you've got no feathering issues. As to the other side, well, we got one issue with the Sharpie, but who, who resists the Sharpie, frankly? What paper resists the Sharpie? Probably just a few, and they would be like 120 gram per meter square. So we've got very little show through. I mean, you probably cannot see it, but I can see it because I've got an eagle eye for this thing. Absolutely no bleed through except for the Sharpie that comes out a bit. Right. But apart from this one, the ink performed very well. It was with a Pilot Prara with a 1.1 uh, nib. Um, everything else doesn't leave a trace. And neither did the uh, coloring pen, pen, 
pens, sorry, right? So it's excellent paper, and that's one of the two reasons why I love uh, Rodia notebooks. The first one is, the qu well, there are, there, are, there are three reasons. The first one is I just love their paper. It performs very well with everything you throw at them. The second reason is that uh, they offer very nice choices of notebooks. And the last one is because, well, and they have that wonderful kind of cover which is so nice to the touch. It can be broken, which means it's a bit more fragile than your Leuchtturm or Molliston cover, but it's a lot nicer as well. So it's a kind of balance between what you want and what you can. And then finally, all this is um, made in France. It's a French product and it's a very old company. And I think they have managed very well to uh, push into the modernity while remaining faithful to their principles and to their basic line of products. It's like they have a huge line of more than 1,200 uh, different products. And they remain faithful to their base. And that's what I like. It's like you will not be extremely surprised, but they still get to manage to do things that are so much nicer than everyone else. So much nicer. Okay. I suggest now that I um, talk about very quickly um, two notebooks which are soft covers but I did not include them in this review because this one is already 20 minutes past 20 minutes and these are the gold books and the gold books are um, Rodia's answer to the bullet journal craze in my opinion a very nice answer to, the, to that craze and I will be talking about this in another video uh, but it's just to uh, make you drool. I think that's the word you use. I'm not sure about that. To me, drool is like the dog who wants a kind, some kind of uh, thing to eat, and then there's saliva coming down its mouth or something. Drool. I'm still learning words in English all the time. That's kind of funny. So I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope you have still have strength because there are others to come. Um, I received all these samples recently and I'm expecting um, something to come um, around uh, the 23rd of June because I've placed an order for in a private sale and so I bought plenty of things and especially the simili, uh, simili lever covers to go with the pads. Alright, see you next time then. Thanks for watching.